guys, today I'm going to be doing a video that I've wanted to do for a really long time. Before I get started, just want to say, sorry if I sound disgusting, um, I've got a bit of a cold so I'm a bit sort of nasally and a bit gross. Um, but today I wanted to talk through makeup brushes. This video is me sharing with you what I think are the necessities for brushes because there are so many brushes on the market and a lot of them are really expensive and I mean, the ones I'm going to show you are kind of expensive, um, but I 100% believe that with makeup brushes you get what you pay for. If you're going to get a really cheap one from Superdrug, for example, it's just not going to put on product as well, it's not going to make your makeup work in the way it should. And also, makeup brushes last a really, really long time if you look after them. I had a set that I had for, I think, six, six or seven years, which is a really long time and they probably should have gone in the bin a lot earlier, but they lasted. Um, I actually still have one of those here. But I want to share with you what I personally think are necessary because if you are new to brushes and new to makeup, you don't need to go and buy a whole set. I don't like to buy things in collections, so you can get like a face collection or an eye collection or a core collection. And personally, I find that there's a lot of brushes in there that I just wouldn't use. So for me, this is the brush set that I have kind of made myself from buying individual brushes and that I feel is the basic set of what you need. So I have this many brushes, which for a YouTuber is not that many. As far as I know, they are all cruelty free. Um, if they are not, please let me know in the comments below. I have rambled on enough. Let's get into the video. Starting off with a foundation brush. I personally like to use a brush rather than a sponge. Uh, to be honest, I've never really tried a sponge, but I am um, sometimes one of those people that just gets stuck in their ways and likes the way I do things, and it works for me, so I don't feel the need to change it. And the brush I use is the 104 Buffer, which is a kabuki brush from Zoeva. This is flat on the top, and it's very dense, and what I'll do is I'll put foundation on the back of my hand, I'll dab it in, and then I'll, in circular motions, blend it into my skin. And the next product would be concealer. I don't use a concealer brush, I just don't feel the need. I feel like fingers are better because if you're using a brush it takes off a lot of the product. And I am a massive fan of concealer. I like it all over my eyeballs. I like it all over my spots. If I could do my whole face in concealer and not look ridiculous, I probably would. So the next brush I would use would be powder. Um, the brush I was using before is this one. And this was from Body Shop, and it's so old. This is from the really, really old set, um, from like five or six years ago. It's so old. Um, and I've only just replaced it, which is probably a bit unhygienic. But this is just a powder brush, and I would just swirl it into my powder, tap it off, and then tap it onto my face. And that is exactly what I do with its new replacement, which is the 106 Powder Bruff. Bruff? Bruff. Brush. They're kind of similar, um, except this one is slightly wider and I mean this one feels a bit denser. Powder brushes are powder brushes in my mind. You stick your powder on the brush and you just all over your face, everywhere. The next thing I would do is eyes but I will keep on the face theme for now and then I'll move on to eyes. I use three brushes for contour, blush and highlight. So the contour brush I use is this one. This is the 110 face shape brush from Zoeva and it's really tiny which I really like, so you can just like get it right in that. What is this? This is your cheekbone. You can get it right in the cheekbone, that's what I was trying to say. So you can get it right in there and then you can blend it up and blend it out. And I just really like that it's really concentrated because I had um, one that was kind of more of a kabuki um, and it was angled, but I found that it was just too big um, and a smaller one works a lot better for me. For blush, I use the blush brush, Brush, oh my goodness, it's really hard to say blush, brush. Blush, brush. Blush. <laughs> the blush brush I use is the blush brush from Real Techniques. And I really like this brush. Um, it's not as soft as the Zoeva ones. Um, if you've never tried Zoeva, you'll probably think these are really soft. They are soft, but the Zoeva ones are just lovely. Um, but what I love about this is it's kind of tapered to a point. So you can put your product on the end of the brush, put it where you want it, and then as you blend it in, the outside of the brush blends 
the product in. So rather than just having one really concentrated section where you're just sort of going around in circles, it really softens the edges and makes it really soft. Then for highlight, I use the setting brush by Real Techniques. I don't think this is designed for highlight, I think it's designed for setting concealer. Um, but brushes are just brushes. You don't have to use them for what they are named for. Uh, they obviously have been designed for that, but if something works better for you because of its size and its shape, then that's absolutely fine. Um, so I use this for highlighter. And again, it's got a similar shape to the blush brush in that it's pointed so that um, it blends as you put it on. Um, and I really like to just get that on there. And it's also small enough that you can get in your brow bone within the same two seconds that you've put it in your thing. It's just really fast and really useful, I think, for me. Moving on to eyes, um, you can get away with one if you really want to. Like, this is the one that I used for a really, really long time. Just this on its own. This is the eyeshadow brush from Topshop, and it's just a standard eyeshadow, just eyeshadow brush. It's really good. This is the kind of size I like to use because it's quite big, so you can just whack on the product, and it blends really well as well. But I also like to have a blending brush, and the one I have, which is covered in makeup, sorry, is the E35 Tapered Blending Brush from Sigma. So if you look at these two next to each other, this one is much more concentrated and this really is a blending brush. It kind of saves time because you can whack on the product with this and it doesn't really have to be very neat and then you can just, just blend it out and Bob's your uncle. It doesn't have to be really precise. But if you do want to get precise, you can use a brush like this. This is the Petite Eye Blender 223 from Zoeva. And I've only had this a week and I love it. And what I use this for is really in the crease, like really right in there um, with a darker color. So if you don't want a really heavy eye, which I don't tend to, because I'm quite light skinned and if I put too much eye makeup on, I just look kind of like a bit of a goth, which isn't always the look I'm going for. Um, so this is really good to get right into the crease and also it's quite good for under the bottom lashes. Um, you can usually use a flatter brush for that, um, but I don't have one of those, don't feel like I really need one. The last eye one, which can also double for the next brush I'm about to show you, is the 317 Wing Liner from Zoeva. I don't use gel eyeliner, I use this with a really dark brown eyeshadow and I'll use this um, to sort of just do an eyeliner but with eyeshadow so it's softer and um, it's much like it's not as harsh it is softer as I just said softer I don't know why I'm trying to elaborate on that point I made my point let's move on um, yeah it's a lot softer than just a big whack of eyeliner um, but it allows you to um, still kind of have some definition around the lashes you can also use this for gel liner if you want to and you can use it for eyebrows um, and you can also use it for under the lashes if you want to. But the eyebrow brush I do use is uh, Brow Wow, and I think this is from Redhead Revolution, which is a really tiny but really cool brand, and I hope they're still running, um, and if they've discontinued my eyebrow pomade, I'll be very upset, um, because I really, really like it. But this brush came with it, um, and it was kindly sent to me. Hopefully this is cruelty-free. Please be cruelty-free. So it's got a spoolie at one end, which is like what you'd have on a mascara brush so you can comb through your brows. And then on the other end, it's got the angled brush just like this one. So you can really get in your brows, get your brows on. And yeah, I personally think this is what you need if you are wanting to do a full face of makeup. They're really functional brushes. They are kind of on the pricier side, but not massively expensive. Um, if you're not really into makeup, you'll probably look at the price and be like, what? That is a lot of money for a brush. But like I say, they do last. They make a massive difference to your makeup and how it performs and how it lasts. Um, and they last a really, really long time if you look after them. So I highly recommend uh, Real Techniques and Zoeva as brands. And I highly recommend saving up a little bit of cash, spending a little bit of money on getting good quality brushes because you really will have benefits from doing that. If you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe so you get updated whenever I upload a new video. If you would like to follow me on any of my social networks, including Snapchat, 
Instagram, Twitter, they are all listed in the description below. And that is it. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you all very soon. If you have any video suggestions, let me know in the comments below because I feel like I just don't ask you guys that enough and it would be nice to make content that you're interested in watching. That is it, finally, after many a ramble. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you all very soon. I love you guys. Bye. My makeup is definitely not on point today. I'm not sure this is really selling someone who knows what they're talking about.